Alright, what is going on? What's up, CJ? Vibration uh, off. Sometimes I feel like I should practice before I like just boot up around <laughs> to increase my PB potential, but I never do. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, we still got it. I was worried that it was gonna go into that cutscene and make me wait it out. <clears throat> we still got the one cycle or whatever you want to call it. Apparently it's possible to not get shot right in the beginning here when all these guys like immediately open up on you and I haven't been able to do that yet it's 
What's up, kitty cat? My cat just barged in here and looked at me. He might be about to meow. <laughs> I've gotten knocked down there before. That was a lot of damage if you fall. What's wrong? Did I get all my money? There you go. This one. This is this one? There it is. High potion. That's what we want. Yeah, thanks, Dad. <coughs> Good morning. Happy Saturday. Are you having coffee this morning, Dad? Yeah, I was having so much coffee this week. Like, I was drinking, like, a pot of coffee, and then some days I drank two pots of coffee. That's, like, a lot of coffee for me. So, today I'm like, okay, no coffee. Let's reset the body a bit. <laughs> you ran out, which is why you're gonna rush. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, it sounds good. Have a cup for me. Yeah, it was just one of those weeks where I wasn't really sleeping that well, and work was kind of long. So, yeah, it all just sort of resulted in me drinking a lot of coffee. <laughs> so today I'm like, okay, let's just drink some water today. <laughs> I'm try to get this late kill here. I don't know if that's late enough. Please jump quick. Here we go. 
Okay, that's a good chain. Should be good. Gotta stay hydrated, my dude. He uses this potion. Please don't miss. But hell it. That's not good. Okay. Slight time loss, but nothing really major. Maybe like five or six seconds. Normally if all three bullets hit the dog, you'll do enough damage to one shot it. The first phase. <clears throat> but I think one of my bullets missed. Oh, that's my fastest Pegasus Riders fight. I guess that would make up for that. Oh, there's no cutscene here, we can just start moving. I remember. Getting stuck on the environment a bit. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is not a cutscene to skip. Okay. Whoa! I just got double shot by those snipers. Okay, I'm gonna have to be really careful. Alright, we're good. <laughs> That's insane. <clears throat> Thank goodness I had that Phoenix down activated. Nice ladder skip. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> Alright. A lot of regular potions. Just have high potions now. That's okay then. Just have to make them count. That should be good. Man, I'm taking a lot of extra shots this round. Oh no, he's gonna gonna weapon swap on me. Yeah. Okay, that menu took me a second. <laughs> That's okay though. Nothing to get hung up on. <clears throat> Better to be safe than sorry. Man, I love this music on this level. <laughs> Skip those ones though. They're a little too far out of the way for my life.
on my stash and then walk to the door. <clears throat> I've been doing that and it, it's been avoiding that Gatling gun shot, which is nice. Still got a 16 there, that's nice. I'm going to use this potion, I think. Yes. Alright, and I hope I have enough materia for this, or Maka for this uh, chain shot. I'm going to be sad if I don't. I think I do. There we go. Man, I'm getting a lot better at that chain shot. It's really important for trying to one-shot this boss right here. Okay. Huh. <sighs> Yeah, so like if you have a good chain shot, you can one shot that boss, which is normally a pretty dangerous fight too. Even it's not even just that it takes like longer, but Shulk is really dangerous and can like pretty much combo you to death. I think so. You have to be really careful with your healing there. Please walk over here. Oh wait, I thought you died. Whoa. I think my brain kind of forgot what was going to happen on that drop. <laughs> That's A-OK. -okay.
There we go. You don't know I'm in here. You don't know I'm in here. <laughs> Foolish soldiers. <laughs> Yo, Colin, what's up, dude? Thanks for the good luck. Happy Saturday, bro. I hope you're having a chill day. Alright. So here's the only part of the game where you don't play as Vincent. <laughs> you play as Kate Seth. Oops. Babysitting all day. Bro, I could go for some cookies right now. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, this is the only part where you don't play as me. Oh god. Please no. And it's really dangerous. It's really easy to die here. Because <laughs> you're just moving. Alright, we should have enough health to be okay. Alright, and we dodge that bullet. So if we jump here, we can't get melee either. Yeah, 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 we good. Alright, and that's it. That's the only section of the game where you don't play as Vincent. <laughs> yeah, I could go for some cookies though. Sounds good. <laughs> Hell yeah. Bro, you're having a lit day. <laughs> Sounds like a good Saturday, my dude. Oops. Should have forced the camera to turn with me. I'm gonna take this. Yeah. Cause you never know what can go wrong. Oops. Hello? Yeah. 
kill it. <laughs> it's like, I don't want to step on the mine, dog. Alright, this is a pretty tough skip here. There we go. There's like an invisible wall that will knock you down pretty often. But I'm starting to get a little bit better at that. Hello. Skip these guys, but these guys need to die. Yeah. Aim up. Why did I reload there? No, why am I getting turned around? <laughs> Oh no. Oh my. Alright, I'll equip the high potion just in case. Hopefully we don't need it. We should be able to bash through this guy. Get out of here. There we go. Just like that. <clears throat> and that's... Hello. Please grab this. That's the last of that. Scary stuff. It's easy to get locked down and like lose all your fucking health right there. I've been having trouble with this boss coming up. I think the timing of my attacks has been pretty booty. Okay. Yeah, my health's already so low. If this thing comes back down, it's gonna be scary. Okay. Could've been cleaner, but we'll take it. This is a waste of time, though. So if you don't make it to this next cutscene, we're... Right here. Vincent's gonna spin his gun. <clears throat> it's a little bit of a waste of time. That's okay though. Like, de-transforming <clears throat> before you get to that point is really bad. But that's fine. A little bit of time loss because I was playing kind of sloppy. But not too bad. Uh, yes. There's like four or five cutscenes we're gonna skip. I think there's four. The save cancel coming up. So it's like three, and then a, a, maybe a save cancel? Yeah, there it is. I think one more. There it is. I knew it. My memory is coming along. <laughs> there we go. Alright, this guy will always come to this spot. Oop, grab that before he explodes on us. All these like dogs flying at me from behind. <laughs> I 
Alright, let's try to get a good shot in here. Alright, looks like we got all 4,000 gil, which is nice. There's a bunch of enemies that run away right there. So if you shoot the explosive barrels at the right time, you should be able to kill them all and get all 4,000 gil before they run away from you, which is really nice. I think there's a guy right there, right? Yeah. Oh, wait. Please die. Okay, so we ran past like a base earlier and just went right here, but that base has some goodies. And this is kind of like an auto-scroller that just started, and it doesn't really matter how we do in it. So it says chopper is 0 out of 15. Um, it doesn't really matter what our score is there. We're not really going to save or get a bunch of money for like doing it or anything like that. So we just let that run and we come over here and pick up some items that we, per we deliberately ran past earlier. Because the quicker we can start that auto scroller, the better. Because it will take a while. I think there's another enemy I'm missing somewhere. Oh well. I'm not gonna get hung up looking for it. Okay. But yeah, no matter what, we'll still have to be there for a while. And the final chopper is like a boss chopper. So we have to kill that in order to advance the game. Otherwise, it'd be cool to just like skip this part. But we've got to come over here anyway. So each mission that you're in, each stage has like objectives, and the game tries to be like tries to set you up so you have things to do outside of just like completing like outside of just like finishing the stage. It's kind of like there's all these little objectives that you can do in the levels, and by completing them, you get more money. So this is one of them, so the more choppers we kill, theoretically the more money we would make, but you don't actually get paid a lot extra for <laughs> shooting all the choppers or anything. Like, it doesn't really make a huge difference. So, <clears throat> thankfully we can just skip the beginning of this, run, collect those items, and burn some time. But I'm happy to kill them. And also, they shoot missiles at you, so you have to be really careful, because you don't really want to take unnecessary damage. And they shoot these little, like, missiles that go pretty quick. one's gonna come this way. There it is. Okay, this is coming my way. This one too. No, no, no. What's funny is even though you blow them up and they're like clearly like being like destroyed, they like fly off into the distance. <laughs> That one, that one's still going over there, all the way back there. <laughs> okay, so I think we're about to get three at the same time from this direction, if I remember correctly. <clears throat> and then the wave after that is the boss one. Oh, that one will. <laughs> Okay, so the boss one will come right over this hill, and then there's like a smaller minor chopper, the one like the ones we've been killing that have been here. But this one will have way more health, so as soon as this peaks over this ridge, I'm gonna start shooting it, because the quicker we can kill the boss, the quicker we can advance the game. I'm gonna take some missiles here, I think. Yeah. 
That's a hook table. Alright. So there is a potion back here. We'll grab that. There's a couple potions coming up actually. Okay, so the final boss chopper drops off these three big dudes. And killing the last one gets you your card key. And you need that to move on. Sometimes I shop here, but I think I'm gonna skip that shop. Because there is a part come hello. Don't kick me, what the fuck? There's a part coming up where the game will fully heal you, so if we can get there without dying, that would be great. This is a potion, so we can just use that right away. Man, we took a lot of damage there. It's kind of dangerous. Grab the 1k. Alright, now I'm gonna watch my health, but I'm gonna try not to heal if I can help it. Hopefully no one comes out of nowhere and hits us. Wait, behind me. Yeah. It's weird how these guys have been like patterning, patterning? Routing their way over there. Normally they kind of sit around this freight box thing. Okay, but yeah, after this cutscene we get healed, so it's okay that we got this low. <laughs> Okay, so this is a really dangerous area. There's like a ridiculous amount of enemies like shooting at you. It's like really easy for your health to just start sapping away. Like that, like this is a really low health. But this boss is really easy, so he has like a weak spot kind of like underneath him. And we're gonna drag him off the stairs and try to shoot him in that weak spot. Hello? Oh, this is going terribly. <laughs> Normally you can like one shot that boss. I'm pretty sure. That's okay though. He didn't re I think I might have went forward too quick after I started to get him down. That's okay. Okay. Equip uh, the potion because we're probably going to need it. Might even need this red potion. Hope not though. Nice shot, Gumby. I think that's it. I don't think there's any enemies down here. Uh, this next stage is pretty straightforward. I should really memorize some of the uh, lining lines better that you'll take with Vincent. <laughs> but this is all just talking to people, actually. They had like a little bit of a break in the game where you just basically run around and chat with people, which is pretty cool. Oh man, I don't have any money. That's fine. Hopefully I'm good on bullets. But yeah, there's just a bunch of cutscenes, and then you run around and chat with people <clears throat> for this stage. So it's kind of straightforward, not like a bunch of time to save or anything here. Oh, wrong way. So you can start moving Vincent before the screen loads in, and you can kind of get him places quicker that way. Like before the before you can see him, you can actually start moving him, which is pretty cool. So if I learn where to hold my analog stick, I can save a few seconds there. Yo, Jeff, thanks so much. I hope you're having a good day so far, man. Happy Saturday. This 
This is where I almost restarted the stage last run. Yo, nice. I'm glad. I'm glad. Yeah, I'm doing okay. I, I'm a little tired. I normally, well, I don't know. That's not true. Because I got, like, a lot of sleep last night. It's just, like, all week I was drinking, like, a ton of coffee. So, today I decided no coffee. <laughs> so, I'm a little tired in, like, that sense. Where, like, normally I'm, like, perked up and stuff. Or, like, normally I'm perked up, like, at this time of day. I don't think I stream that often at this time. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. So, no coffee and... Just a little chillin', which is good. I just kind of wanted to relax and do a run, not really worry too much. Like I was gonna do, I was gonna do a different game today, but this is a, this is good because I've been I've been running it uh, a decent amount, so it's kind of like kind of in my head and it's a little easy to like. It's not too hard to like remember everything and it's pretty chill. So I decided this would be a good game to play. And yeah, not really any plans for today, which is good. Tomorrow though, I'm going out to see my father, which has been a while, so it'll be good to see him, I suppose. But today, today is my free day. I always think I'm going to save a bunch of time here, but the loading to end the stage is so long. <laughs> I never end up actually saving much time at all, even though I think I'm going to. A lot of cutscenes and a lot of loading. Okay. I didn't buy any potions. Well, there is a <clears throat> shop coming up. Oh, you know what? I didn't buy any potions because I was really tight on money when I bought my last upgrade round. Alright. That's fine though. We don't really need anything to heal with because we're fine. Here's a collectible. If you shoot it, you'll get it. I feel like I point this stuff out every run. <laughs> Oh boy. Is that 
the card key. There it is. Okay. Yeah, because there's a shop right here. So after this, I think there's a save cancel. There it is. After this, we can just turn around. Oh man, we really don't have much of anything. Damn, I'm not really sure what to do. Hmm. 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 My brain is ticking because I don't have any healing. And I don't have any money. Okay. We should be fine. But this is going to be really fucking risky. And I could game over. <laughs> Alright, my brain is working right now. On overtime. Normally I, I don't buy this certain upgrade that I bought. I bought it like I think a stage early. I'll wait for those guys to die. I don't want to take any of that residual damage. Holy shit. Okay. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna die coming out. There is a boss where you have to... It's like surrounded by enemies and you've gotta kill the boss to get the card key. We should be able to do that in one shot. But we're taking so much damage throughout that. It's a little dangerous. Like, I can see myself dying, but we do have Phoenix down, so... It'll we should be able to get through without healing. Well, man, this is going to be tough. I think it was a mistake to buy that upgrade. <laughs> Alright. I hope I don't die. For some reason, I feel like this is going to go really badly. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to come here. Got the car key. There we go. We're dead. Okay, but we have one more Phoenix now. So if we can get over here without dying, that'd be good. And there's some enemies down here. Which sell, sell, which drop potions, but they're RNG potions. So, they're called red potions, and a red potion in this game will heal any amount of health. Like, as, it'll just like take the form of another potion. Okay, we got an elixir too, I guess. But you never actually know how much healing you're gonna get out of a red potion. You could get, like, you could literally heal one HP, or you could get, like, a full heal. It's kind of crazy. Man, I lost. I lost. I just realized that I wasted some time shopping, even though I didn't have any gill. I was just so worried about this, but like, I would have been fine if I just kept on. I'm missing some of that basic game knowledge. <laughs> Alright, I'll quit rambling. This is a pretty tough boss fight for me. I usually don't do so well. Okay. Now we have some money to work with. <laughs> the monk ass stuff is over. And we got the upgrade early, so... Well, I don't know how early it actually is compared to like what the top runners might do, but... I'm actually just gonna leave that and just buy potions. Okay. I feel a bit better now. So what's nice about this Gatling gun is you can kind of line them up and just keep them kind of juggled here in the corner as they run out the door. And... There we go.
Okay, we should use a potion, because I think there's one coming up. I think it's actually at the top of this ladder. Nope. <laughs> oh, dude. I'm gonna get blown up. Okay, that was really lucky. Just ran in front of a mine. Okay. I think the potion's right here. Yes. Skip all these guys. We have to use a healing. We have to use a high potion. Otherwise, we would have died. All right. Well, I think we're gonna be slightly. No, we should be fine. I was gonna say we're gonna be low on healing, but we've got two mega potions to get through. Rosso, which is the upcoming boss fight, so we should be good. <clears throat> okay. Two, two. I've been having trouble keeping this chain shot. Like last time I was here, I really fucked this up. Please die. All right, we kept the chain shot. <laughs> And we didn't take too much damage, so that's good. Okay, she's gonna dash once, and then she's gonna dash a second time. I'm gonna shoot her at the second dash. Almost a one shot. Really close. I'm just gonna strafe. Yep. Back up and straight through this. Okay, so you need to straight the opposite way it's curving. It's like right here. Pretty ugly fight. <laughs> I think I lost some good time there. That's okay though. Service, potions. Ha <laughs> 
on, dude. Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> that guy really wanted to kick me. That might be the first time that guy's kicked me, to be honest. Man, I'm just getting hit by everything in this level so far. Red potions. So we should use those. There we go. Got some bullets. Alright. <clears throat> yeah, what's up, Boston? Sorry, I'm a fucking idiot. What's up, Acid? <laughs> I hope you're having a good Saturday, man. You probably don't give a shit, but sorry for fucking <laughs> saying your names like that. <clears throat> I'm gonna purposely detransform here because this is just an elevator ride, and unfortunately, the transformed version of Vincent can't um, dash cancel. So, as soon as this door opens, we're gonna start dash canceling again. So, the, the, the spot to detransform is definitely the spot where there's no movement. <laughs> Alright, last time I was here I took a bunch of damage in this fucking room, like 400 damage. Way too much. Okay, here's the first kind of break of the run, so I'll be right back.
Alright. <clears throat> so yeah, this is like an elevator, and basically there's these swirling mines overhead. And normally, like casually, you could like shoot the mines and try to get like your score up for like an, uh, for some objective points or whatever. But um, <coughs> if you just like let them spin above your head, they'll never actually touch you. So you could set your controller down, go to the bathroom, whatever you gotta do. I don't know how much time you have to use the bathroom, but you have to be really quick. <laughs> And there's one more, except this one is a lot more dangerous. <coughs> there is. So I think it's down two more floors. There's uh, some soldiers that come out, and the mines are still going to be here. And the mines will spin around above you while you're trying to shoot the soldiers, and it's totally possible to accidentally shoot one of these mines. And because they're so close, they'll blow up in like a chain reaction, and you'll take all the damage from it. It's pretty obnoxious. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> so what I try to do is I try to scope in for the first shot. Well, I'll scope in for every shot, but I'll try to like scope in at their feet and get like try to get both of them. We only got one. I'll try to be quick here. Please die. Okay, this is a little sketchy. I'm gonna wait till he goes above me. Uh, this is sketch. There's one. And the last one. Okay, and that's pretty much it. I normally try to be a lot quicker because they'll shoot you and you just take unnecessary damage. But at this point in the level, we're pretty much gonna be flying to the boss. There's a few more combat sections where we're gonna try to build up a chain shot. And the chain shot is when you get a bunch of kills consecutively, so um, there's going to be like a timer, kind of like a, a timer that you can't physically see or anything, and it, it, every time like you kill someone, there's like the timer running, and if you kill someone again, you get like a multiplier, you get like a little combo going. And if you take too long between your kills, then the combo dies. I'm sure that makes sense. And if you get a really high combo, then the very next shot you shoot with Vincent and his, and his gun is called the chain shot, and it does like huge bonus damage, like like thousands of damage. And you can use that to like one-shot boss fights, which is really nice. It's really helpful. Um, we've done a couple this round already, which is nice. Sometimes those are a little tough to hit. Yeah, so right here we're building the chain. And I should have just went forward. I don't know why it took too long. Alright, so level 13 chain. I'm gonna buy some more healing because that's what this fight is all about. Okay. So, yeah. So, we're gonna headshot this guy. That should help a lot. First, we're gonna. Oh, okay. Straight to the right. Like that. Alright, so his first form, just like that. Just a quick one shot. Really nice that we're able to do that. Now, this is the really scary form. So I come over here. One, two, three, four. Limit break. And he's gonna go crazy on us, and we're pretty much just gonna try to not get fucked up too hard and just heal it, heal it away. That's that. Okay. So thankfully we didn't have to use a lot of healing items, and the, honestly, that was pretty quick. Damn. <clears throat> we did lose some time. I'm guessing... I, don't, I wouldn't even know where to guess where we lost those seven seconds. But that's okay. This is a pretty long, lengthy level. 
I'm sure there's some time to be saved here. Well, I know there's time to be saved in everywhere, but <laughs> specifically here. Okay. So these gargoyles we're about to have to kill. They're really annoying because if you don't kill them like right away, they're gonna fly off. And like there's a bunch of these pipes that you see kind of coming up. And they're like prone to like going behind the pipes. <laughs> and then it takes like forever to actually kill them. But if you're quick enough and you know where they are, then that isn't too much of a problem. It's just making sure that you kill them quick enough before they escape you. Like that. Okay. A little bit of head bonking. Totally works. Alright, I had a hard time killing these mines last time, so I'm gonna get right in their face. Try to make sure my bullets land. Please. Ow. Okay. So this guy will drop four barrels, two on each side. So we're just gonna kill the ones on the right side. Okay. <laughs> this level starting out great. Normally that guy right there who just like ran and picked up all those briefcases. If you can kill him before he gets there to all the briefcases, you can actually collect them for yourself. And it's like a bunch of money, some good healing items. Honestly, it's pretty worth it to get that guy dead, but I was not able to do it. Okay, in this next section, we have to kill all these enemies here, and they're all immune to bullets, so you have to melee them. It's really annoying, because they're good at running away from you. And we'll use the Mega Potion, because two of these guys actually drop Mega Potions, which is really nice. Alright, that wasn't too bad. Sometimes I shop there, but I think I'm gonna skip that shop. Just focus on the run. Okay, this section right here, oh, there's these boxes on the ground. And each one of them has to, oh, has to go. And the last one will drop the card key. So we saved the last one for the one closest to this ladder here, so we can just get going right away. Man, we are taking a lot of shots. Holy shit. <laughs> Wowzers. Okay. This is a pretty, really, oops, really chill part of our own. This is just another of those auto scrollers. Kind of like the elevator ride where we could not do anything the whole time. This is somewhat similar to that where. Um. We can't make this thing go any faster. <laughs> so, the first part, there's gonna be a couple of enemies who are also riding these train cars. They're gonna be like coming our way. I think there's. So there's one, two, three. I think there's four. And uh, after that, it's just sitting tight. Actually, one, two. Yeah, so there's three here. Then there's one that's going to be up in this top right corner. Once we kind of go around the bend a bit more. Oh, 
items really. Okay. So yeah, so that's pretty much all we can do. Um, just let this ride take us. However, there is a couple choppers, like helicopters, like machine gun chopper kind of guys, that will come at us, and there's honestly nothing we can really do about it. Um, like, shooting them down, down or anything like that isn't going to make things faster, it's just going to waste a bunch of resources and might not even actually stop them, so... Yeah, and like, sh while you're sh if you're shooting at a chopper, it's not just going to stop shooting at you out of respect. <laughs> so... Yeah, pretty much nothing you can super do about them, just kind of hang out and try not to die. We have plenty of healing to make sure that doesn't happen, but... Yeah, we've got the Mega Potion. We could theoretically let ourselves die. I think this train ride would just keep going. But, uh... Should be okay. So when you... If you die and you have a Phoenix Down used, like, on you, so... Above my ammo count, so... If you look in the bottom left corner, there's, like, my gun. There's, like, the chain meter. There's 18 out of 18. Wow. I might... Actually die. That's fine. But, um... Man, these guys have done a ton of damage. Uh, so if I die, we'll have a Phoenix Down activated, as I was saying. <laughs> uh, you'll come back with your health, and we can just use another Phoenix Down. So it's basically like, if you have a Phoenix Down activated and you get killed, the game will just bring you right back. Which is really nice. Because there's quite a few times in the run where I think I'm going to die, and then I usually do die. <laughs> but knowing that I have the Phoenix Down activated, it's like, okay, everything's going to be a-okay. And I'll try to parry some of these, which is basically when you dash with Vincent, and you dash in the direction of a bullet, there's a small chance. I don't really know how exactly the chance works, like, or anything like that, because it feels like sometimes just like, nope, you're going to take every hit. But uh, you can actually deflect the bullets, and there'll be like a little blue, I don't know, thing on the screen to let you know that you did it successfully. Okay. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm down to let my health get low, because I think... I heal after this next cutscene. Well, not this one, but... So, we're gonna come through here. This bridge thing's gonna break. And I think we heal right here. I also think there's a save cancel. So I'm gonna shop here. Get my healing back on track. Okay, I think there's one more that will drop. Am I not right? Yeah, I'm wrong. Okay. So we gotta stop this guy. Oh, hello. Please no. Okay. <laughs> okay, so there's a sniper who likes to ding me for like almost 300 health, I think. He just keeps doing it. Stop shooting me, bro. And try not to...
these mines are like the worst. I hate them with all my heart. Please blow up. <laughs> Okay, that guy was really nice there. He doesn't always just chill out like that. <clears throat> okay, so the reason I use my elixir early is because we're gonna be grabbing one right up here. It's pretty much 100% on the way. Like, there's no reason not to grab this. So, can grab that. Let the game load before you can move on. <laughs> Thank you, game. Oh, I grabbed the card here. What am I doing? Okay, there's a shop I'm going to take right here. Just make sure we're good on healing before we move on. All these things right here are fake enemies in disguise, this briefcase. All these things that just look like natural items in the world. If you try to interact with them, it'll be an enemy. So just move on. Don't even have to shoot those guys. Try to avoid the mine. Like so. Once two barrels get thrown, we're good to go. Okay, now here's a really tough chain shot to keep. I've had a lot of trouble with this one. Did I miss someone? Who did I miss? <gasps> There's a dude up there! <laughs> no! That sucks. Oh man, this is really ugly. <laughs> Alright, whatever. So no chain shot for the boss, that sucks. It's normally a pretty helpful thing to have. Thankfully, his first phase doesn't really have too much health, so even though one-shotting it would be great, it just takes a couple more seconds to actually finish him. Okay. Oh, there we go. Yeah, what's up, game dude? Uh, no, this is on my PlayStation 2. 
Thanks for asking. Alright, so this is normally where you'd be able to kind of one-shot his first phase, but we're just going to step back. Try to lock him in place here. There we go. Can you come back here? Because he's going to make these little replica things of himself. And you want them to fly in that direction, so you can line up some easy headshots. Like this. rough but not too bad. I'm trying to think if there's any other upgrades we need. Can't really think of any. Just check really fast. Uh, we can get a longer barrel. And Stock up on bullets. The reason I like this level so much, this is called Beginnings, <clears throat> has some cool boss fights towards the end, but personally I really like how, how little fighting you do in this level. You... oops, hello. You just run past a lot of the enemies and try to have good movement with Vincent so that you don't get slowed down. Unlike what is happening here. <laughs> Use a potion. There's these gargoyles, which normally if they hit you, it will totally knock you down and stutter your movement. So trying to avoid them is nice. Get these guys. Okay, here's a little ladder skip. Yep, there we go. There's a nice invisible wall. <laughs> so normally to get this ladder skip you want to get a good dash and you want to get a good couple jumps after. But I think I choked my first jump out. But yeah, if you don't really do that that well, like a little invisible wall will knock you down and you've got to climb that ladder. There's a few ladders in the game like that where you can you can skip them, but it's hard. Man, we're getting super hello. Super bogged down right now. I don't know why bogged down is my go-to, but <laughs> should not have went left around that really. Oh man, I should have used an X potion there. I always forget that there's X potion spawned right there. It'd be nice to have. Try to keep this guy juggled in the corner. There we go. Who am I missing? These guys? Who's missing? Who's missing? Oh, I got the card key. Okay. Foolish gum. <laughs> I'm known to choke this boss fight, so let's not do that. The annoying thing about this boss is if you don't kill it in the first phase where it's kind of like out in your face, it'll swing behind this giant sphere thing and hide itself. And we don't want that.
Alright, pretty good. Way better than last time. And that's all that matters. Oh, wait, I gotta push this button. <laughs> I was so gung ho ready to go. I'd shoot these guys, but they're the type of enemies, so these guys are just like earlier where we can't actually shoot them with our bullets. Just uh you can only melee attack them. Here's another bus boss fight I've been working on, but it's hasn't been going that well. Like the last few runs. This is Iraq Nero. Oh man, that was really close to killing me. <laughs> okay, and let's hope for a good pattern on this second boss here. So this guy can go in a few different spots. One of them is right on this platform with me, which is total garbage. But if he's far enough away, we can get a nice little headshot. Like that. Okay, so this upcoming battle is Vice, and the first phase that we're going to encounter, it's like we can't actually beat him or anything like that, so we're just going to let him kill us really quickly. And the second one is pretty pretty straightforward, we're just going to use a Limit Breaker and try to kill him before we, he, he does any sort of shenanigans. Um, there is like a random attack he can do, um, which like he can't be damaged during, there's a couple of them. And one of them, he like goes on like a missile rocket turret thingy, <laughs> and he shoots a bunch of missiles at you. And when he's over there, you just have to wait for the cycle to end. Last run, he did it once, I believe. But I've had a few runs where he doesn't go on that thing at all, which is really nice. So we're going to hope we can get that and save a little bit of time with that. Okay. And this is that form here. So when you're in this limit break form with Vincent, he can't, it doesn't use any ammo, and also, he doesn't have to reload, which is really nice. So we had a really good pattern, this is a pretty quick fight. So far so good. Okay cool, hell yeah. So normally he'll go on this like, turret thing, right? Here. Oh, it's kind of hard to see. It's like a chair, kind of. But looks like he didn't do that once. Okay. And we're actually all done buying anything except for. We'll buy some more healing here, but. So we don't need to upgrade anything else. We don't need to buy potion or 
We don't need to buy bullets or anything. This is just straight going into the game. There is we're now transformed into a different version of Vincent and he has a different gun, so we don't have to worry about all that same stuff. And all the stats on the gun are like super maxed out. So like normally you'll be using guns and trying to upgrade them and make their stats better, but this gun is like totally maxed out. Alright, but I'm gonna focus, so I'm probably gonna take my headset off. Hopefully that's okay. <clears throat> Last time I was here I choked some I choked like 40 seconds. And uh I'd like to not do that. <laughs> it's easy to get stuck on the environment and there's some enemies that are kind of easy to get stuck on as well. Kind of like that. <laughs> Okay, this is where the music gets insanely fucking good too. <laughs> Get off the environment. Okay, let's try not to fuck this boss fight up. It's easy to lose a ton of time. This fight is called Crystal Feelers, and it's pretty easy to choke a bunch of time away if you're not careful. So 
So if you don't get here in time, these things will close, and it takes a ton of time for them to reopen. Get on my way. <laughs> that enemy spawning right there was garbage. Oh no. This is really far away. Okay. Please open, man. So yeah, this thing's just gonna open when it wants to, so I guess it's just gonna waste a bunch of time. Please open. This is insane. There we go. I wonder how much time that just lost me. So that's totally random, when that thing wants to open or not. Which is kind of unfortunate. <clears throat> but it's okay. Man, I definitely th lost some good time there. <laughs> I was almost on 144, if that crystal feeler would have opened. <laughs> I was waiting so long. Here guys, I'll be right back. I really have to use the bathroom.
Man, my internet's doing really weird things. I see I'm dropping frames. That's okay though. Since the run is over. <laughs> Omega's ascending. But that would mean Damn, I lost 22 seconds on the crystal feelers. That was 22 seconds of that bulb not opening. <laughs> maybe more, maybe less. I'm not actually sure.
That song is so good. <laughs> Almost a week since that day. The life stream has returned to the planet and has begun to flow normally once again. And I have started to fill the 10 year hole in my life, or at least started to try. I've learned so much in the past weeks. Now that I realize I'm not a lot alone, I think. I may be a little stronger than I was before. Have you heard from Cloud? Mm -hmm. He hasn't found anything. Oh. Ain't gonna make this easy for us, is he? Vincent, do you remember the last words we exchanged? Deep 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 Sorry to anyone if that was really annoying. Go. Tell her how you feel. Tell her what is truly in your heart. I quickly opened my disc tray and closed it again. I've got to get a new disc. I wonder if I lose time on my loads because my disc is shitty. Hmm. I'll have to. I'll have to do some shopping and see if I can't find another copy. It's not too pricey. 10, 15 bucks. <laughs> hey, thanks, Dad. Lucrezia. Everything's I lost, I took some time away in the end game. And, like, the end end, like, the very final split. <laughs> so, this could have been a 44, though, which would have been really cool. But, that'll come next. Everyone's waiting, Vincent Valentine. I don't know why they made me come up here and get you. <laughs> Not that I mind, though. Alright, so that is Dirge of Cerberus, any percent, for the PlayStation 2. And that's a pretty nice PB, so that's a good Saturday.